Hi everyone, this is Dr. Tina Mims, and I'm going to take us through how to calculate cost of goods sold for an entire calendar year. Our case is the Linkster Precision Tool Company. So this case is not about a seller that buys finished goods and turns around and resells them. This case is about a manufacturer who takes raw materials, which means they have some things working in progress at the end of the year, at the beginning of the year, and not necessarily finished goods that can be sold. So the case asks us to determine what is the cost of goods sold. Well, to do that, we have to first find out what was the entire year's new work in progress, or work in process, okay? So um, we're going to do that. Uh, Dr. Gigi has a video in the handwritten form. This is simply an Excel uh, method of completing the solution. So let's take a look at the things we need. To determine the cost of goods sold, uh, we need be beginning inventory of finished goods because cost of goods sold is only about what? Selling finished goods, right? So then we have to know that's like in January. It could be a fiscal year like our, our university school year starts September 1, but most manufacturers are on a January 1 regular calendar. Event. Okay, so beginning inventory is going to be January 1, and they took inventory and they know they had this many finished goods on hand. They were valued at $1.3 million. Okay, now we have to add in new finished goods. Well, if you look over here, we only have the beginning and ending, ending inventory of finished goods. We don't have all new finished goods because things were in work in progress. So we've got to take into account as marketing folks, if we get involved with our finance and accounting people, you know, hey, if we're going to be forecasting sales, we need to know how we're going to wind up on finished goods for the year. You see? So beginning inventory 1.3, we have to figure out what are the new finished goods for the entire year so that we can find out what the total finished goods were available for the year ending in December 31st, okay? Then we'll know what was sold because all we have to do is subtract the inventory of finished goods we have on hand at the end of the year, right? Beginning inventory, adding new finished goods, that were converted from raw materials that went through a work in progress through the production lines that wound up as a finished good after January 1. That gave us the total finished goods for the year. And that way we take the ending inventory December 31st and we can figure out oh, we sold whatever that number is. Okay. Okay, well... <clears throat> We know what our beginning inventory of work in progress is, but we don't have a new work in progress calculated. It's not given to us. See, new work in progress comes from raw materials and the use of those raw materials. <laughs> so as soon as we can figure out what the new work in progress value was, we can finish the rest of these equations here. So let's just take a look at how to calculate the new work in progress for the year. Okay, this is mirroring Dr. Gigi's video, handwritten style. I'm just doing it in Excel. So to calculate the new work in progress for the entire year, the first thing we need is the cost of raw materials used. We'll look at what we've got going on here. We have beginning raw materials, new raw materials we purchased, did $200,000 in the new raw materials that we needed to use to manufacture. Then 
because of that level we purchased, the place we're getting our raw materials from gave us $10,000 in discounts, but we had to pay for the freight to get them in. So that cost us $15,000. Now the last thing we need to subtract from this is the, the ending inventory in raw materials. Now if you notice, there's nowhere in this list here do we have the ending inventory given to us. So we actually have to read that in the case. That is listed in one of the very specific elements in the case. I'm switching over to the textbook very quickly so that you can see where this tiny little note is given. However, some raw materials remain unused as ending inventory. Ending inventory raw materials, E-I-R-M. This is given in the case to be $45,000. Now, if we didn't pick up that very specific piece of information reading through the case very carefully, we would miss that information. And as a result, our number would be wrong here. But I caught it and we have to subtract ending raw materials. So, once we have that, we have a total of $180,000. Now the next thing is we have to be able to um, identify the cost of labor used. Okay, well that's really pretty straightforward here, no real surprises. We have direct labor and indirect labor of 380,000 for direct labor. These are probably people working on the production lines. And this $130,000 may be an allocation that's provided in overhead for the plant itself, giving us a total of $510,000 in labor costs. Finally, the last thing is we need a total of other manufacturing costs. Remember, all of these things are involved in manufacturing whatever the work in progress is, right? So let's take a look at that. We've got $180,000 in supervision, uh, $130,000 in rent, $110,000 in utilities, and other overheads of $160,000. If I just simply add those four numbers together, I get total other manufacturing costs. Now, I can actually add this total of these three items, how to calculate new work in progress for the year. I can actually add those right here. So I'm going to go up to add new work in progress to the inventory we already had at the beginning of the year. Okay, so that means we added 1.27 million to the inventory during the year. So January 1, we started out with 30,000. We added another 1.27 in 1.27 million in new work in progress. Well, then that's easy. I just get to add these two numbers together, plus D11. And I get a total for the finished goods in the year of 1.3 million. Now, we knew what the less ending inventory we got we were given that ending work in progress inventory of 70,000 so simple as this we're going to take the 1.3 we have for the total finished goods for the year and we're going to subtract the ending inventory piece of cake now we have our number for new finished goods added in the year well this number gets put up here so I'm going to just copy this so in case I want to use the spreadsheet again, I can just use this to, to work additional numbers. So now that I know finished goods added in the year is 1.23 million, I need to add that to the beginning inventory. That way I have all of the finished goods that were available for sale during the year. I have a little extra plus sign there. Great. That was everything that was available for the year. December 31st, we take inventory. There's only $230,000 left in finished goods. So clearly I take 
everything we had for the year available to sell. I subtract the ending inventory of finished goods and we get $2.3 million, which is the answer to the case. Listen, I hope you like this video um, and let me know if uh, it worked for you. Give me a thumbs up. Okay. Thanks. Thank you.